everybody, welcome to Fury Friday. <laughs> you are now rocking with the best TV foe behind the cameras. <laughs> Hello, it's Stevie's Happy Fury Friday. Boy, it's been a while since we said that. It's Two been weeks. A minute. Two weeks. So, um, yeah, let's get on the road. We'll we'll talk. She doesn't want me to go anywhere. <laughs> Do you need the key? <laughs> Sorry, here, here, babe. <laughs> That might help, huh? <laughs> Attempting an iron butt on the Honda Fury. Now I'm sure that it's been done before. Two big things. I know which direction I'm headed. I am headed west. Probably a little bit to the north also. There's two different ideas here still though. There's either I go out 500 miles and come back 500 miles or I go out to a really cool destination that I might have in mind um, and then turn around and come back the remaining miles that I have to do to get to my thousand which the destination I'm thinking about going is like 750 miles away and so then I'd have to do the 250 on the way back and then maybe catch a hotel room right home the next day but I also have I have company now I have somebody coming with me on this deal and that is Kelly Kelly is the one that was uh, he and his wife were the road captain for the GPMM ride that we did and uh, in May and he said, hey, that sounds like cool. You want some company? And I said, hell yeah, I want some company. He may be tagging along. He has not decided yet, but so that will be, uh, that will be cool. Um, but as far as, as luggage goes, as you can see, no, you can't because you can't see behind me, but there's nowhere to put luggage on this bike, right? Because you can't strap anything to the fender because the fender's plastic. You could kind of probably build some kind of a luggage rack back there, but Miss Stevie and I went to Cycle Gear a couple weeks ago, and I purchased a tank bag for this. Now the tank bag is small. They had two different sizes. The bigger one was actually the better deal, but I still went with the smaller one because it fit the tank better and the bigger one was like almost up to the top of my chest like this area <laughs> so I mean it was huge so that that probably would have been fine but I went ahead and went with the small one it also has a phone holder on it um, it is a Sadushi I think it's a six liter tank bag I'll put a link in the description below and then when we get home here later a little bit I will show you guys the bag and I will show you, no, nay, Miss Stevie will show you how we, how we put it on. But until Pretty then, nice. yeah, she got to use it on the way home because we didn't have anywhere to put it. So we had to put it on the tank. So yeah, you guys will see that. It's, it's a pretty cool deal. As far as the tank bag goes, it really doesn't matter how big it is because even if I stay the night somewhere, the only thing I'm going to need is, it'll be the end of July, so I'll probably want like another t-shirt or something, you know? And then a pair of drawers and a pair of socks, so I'll be able to fit that in that tank bag fairly easy, plus maybe a charging cord to charge my phone or my batteries and stuff like that. But So some things are decided, I'm going to go west and a little bit north, and um, I have not decided if I'm going to go 500 out and 500 home or if I'm going to stay the night somewhere or how I'm going to do it yet, but I do have a companion and that is Kelly. So it'll be fun. Oh, plus, Kelly got a new bike. So that'll be cool to talk to him about his new bike too. So we'll get home up here and then we'll uh, get into 
the garage and I'll let you guys check out the bag and Miss Stevie will show you how we mount it. Alright, Amy, will you graciously show them the tank bag that we purchased? Okay, so it's a Sadushi T2 tank bag. And it's super slick because it has magnets, two magnets here on each side and here. And then there's a magnet on the bottom and the top. And it just goes on like that. Super slick. And you rode back all the way from Omaha with this. Yeah, over. and you know, I I didn't. I was nervous at first because I didn't know if it was gonna fly off. But with the full face helmet, I didn't notice it as much because I didn't see it. But when when I felt for it, I knew it was there. But before we left, there is a contraption that it comes with, so you can put this around your tank to hold it on. So. See if I can figure that out. Like that. And then does it just go up underneath? Yeah, that's what I would do. So through here. Yeah. And that just comes up into this spot here, like a wishbone on the frame. And just it clicks on the other side. More for a sense of security, I think, if anything. Right. Then you just tighten it up so that it doesn't come off, but there's so it has you know enough room in it to carry overnight stuff maybe not so much for a woman but it's got rigid sides i could make it work i think if i had to it comes with a little rain pouch here i didn't notice all this we don't need salt <laughs> but uh has some pockets here for a pin well, and then it also has batteries. a little compartment here or for makeup batteries or whatnot change yeah, whatever. right but then it also has a nice holder for your cell phone here and our iphone 12 maxes right is that what they're called? right the big iphones fit and they're perfect i will say it got really really hot so oh in the sun i'm not sure if i'll if i ride on a long trip if i'll have it in there or if i'll just put it inside here um, but I don't use my phone a lot on this bike. Right. So. Because we don't even use a speedometer on this bike, do we? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> it's however you want to go. <laughs> it's just a suggestion, <laughs> the speed limit. So it works really nice. There's also a little pouch here. So if you live somewhere where there's tolls. Yes, that would be perfect. But there, but it also looks like you can put a device in here and headphones through here, oh, which is cool. pretty, pretty nice, mm -hmm. actually. And it's got a key tag on it too, it looks yep. like. Yep, rear key. So all in all, I was really impressed. We did go back and forth between this size and then the medium size, or was it a large? I think it was a yeah, it medium was size, than this one. but it came up to probably about here. They let us come out and put it on the bike to test it out, but it was just way too big to maneuver the handlebars. Yeah, like you'd, if you'd move them all the way to one side to the next, it would hit the bag, so. And it didn't just hit the bag, it like pushed it off to the side, so. Yeah. You wanna zip it up? And we'll try to put this here, rain fly on it. So it's not waterproof, but for the same $49.99, <laughs> it comes with this. Oh, look at it. Little it's rain fly. so cute. <laughs> look at that. Even Miss Stevie can do it. So, Amy. Yes? We need to end this video. So, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. <laughs> if you want to see more of us. Hit that subscribe button and also hit that no bell notification so you know when we load up next time and until next time stay cool and we will see you on the road yeah, yeah. <laughs>